Hey everyone, uh, I'm Laura, I'm a data scientist at DataCamp, and we're in a recording studio today with uh, Cliff Ang. Uh, we just recorded a video on bond valuation and analysis in R. So Cliff, welcome, and thank you, obviously, for uh, recording thank you this for video with us. Me. I think it will be a great video. So it's a new, new uh, course for the finance curriculum. So uh, maybe we can start off with, for the people that don't know you, maybe you can tell a little bit about yourself yeah, about so. what you do. So my name is Cliff Ang. Uh, I'm vice president at a firm called Compass Lexicon. We do economic consulting. Uh, I specialize in the areas of business valuation uh, and securities, and we primarily uh, do work in litigation. Um, OK. Nice. So um, probably the most important question to ask for me as I'm in charge of the finance curriculum and and promoting finance, I guess, in a way. So how did you uh, end up in the field of finance? So way back in college, I, you know, I, I just did better in finance classes. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I guess that's the way to go, and just fell in love with it. And now I, almost all my coursework after that is in finance. And okay. uh, it just I just have interest in a lot of uh, areas in finance, in particular financial economics. OK. OK, nice. Yeah, well, so um, then I guess it's, this is a, a related question as well. So so why did you decide to build a course for Data Camp in the first place? And why did you choose this particular topic on bond valuation and bond analysis? You know, I've always been interested in seeing all these online courses. And I thought mm -hmm. Data Camp had, had a very good platform and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, the structure and everything look look really, really good to me. That's Thank very you. attractive. <laughs> uh, and uh, I mean, this course, Bond Valuation and Analysis, I think is one of the most fundamental concepts uh, that every serious student of finance should know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's mm -hmm. also probably the most one of the most practical things. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, definitely. Um, yeah, I think it will be, it will be great, definitely. Uh, so yes. how, um, well, I mean, you're, you're obviously in finance, so how, why did you decide to use R. So how did you how did you start using R? So I started using R. Uh, this was in 2012 or thereabouts. Uh, a colleague of mine and I, you know, we decided that we wanted to present in the uh, R and Finance Conference. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he knew R, and I had to force myself to learn R. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> that was it. <laughs> okay. So so what other languages? Do you, like, or did you know any other, I guess you didn't know uh, other languages before, so what were other languages that you used before? So I, I used uh, SAS a lot, mm -hmm. uh, especially at work, mm -hmm. uh, some MATLAB, VBA. Uh, you know, those helped a lot, especially in learning a new language like R. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, so certainly knowing other languages uh, does, does help, I guess. So. Um, I mean, you, you work in finance, you, you have experience in R, you recently finished a book uh, analyzing financial data and implement, implementing financial models in R. Uh, so why did you decide to write that book and, and, and what maybe our, our, our users are interested in hearing yeah, so more the, what, there, what it's about? So, so there are, uh, I think maybe three things. Uh, so, the, so I also taught uh, finance investments uh, and a lot of times I see students, the the harder parts in in terms it's a so first it's a financial modeling textbook mm -hmm. and so when when you see these financial modeling textbooks some of the problem is, is that they don't take the student from the beginning mm -hmm. all the way to the end mm -hmm. so that's one so I wanted to write a book that that essentially handholds the student through the whole right. process and secondly when they do, even when they show something like that, they kind of only do the start, the end, mm -hmm. and you're kind of left guessing if you have a multi-step problem or model that you're creating, the students may get lost in the middle. Mm -hmm. So in my book, it's every step, the intermediate output is generated, and R is a really good tool for this because you mm -hmm. can output intermediate data, and so they can see, okay, this is the spot where where you know, I made a mistake. So you mm -hmm. don't have to wait till the end and then try to yeah. figure out for yourself how, how to uh, debug all this. And then the last reason is I wanted to write a book where all the data is free, right? right. They're publicly available data. Mm -hmm. Some of the books, they require you, especially in, 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 at, you know, in university or college, you know, it would be a database that you know, once a student leaves, 
they're not going to have access to. Right. So in my book, it's either Yahoo Finance data, uh, data from the Federal Reserve. So all of these you can access you know, mm -hmm. for free at home you know, or wherever. Mm -hmm. And you can implement every single model from start to finish. That's a very valuable contribution, yes, because I know um, most, most finance data, it's not easy to get. There's non-disclosure agreements that need to be signed, so, so not everything, and yeah. most of it is not publicly available. Exactly. So. And for most of the things that, that, that people want to do, like you want to study stock prices or, mm -hmm. or create portfolios with publicly traded stocks, mm -hmm. it's fairly easy to get uh, free data online. And so mm -hmm. how do you integrate that with R, right? And so... Yeah. That, yeah. that was one of the things that, that, that I wanted to mm -hmm. uh, share with other people. Yeah, that's great. I'm, I'm sure this is very valuable for, for many people. So, um, yeah, it's very interesting. So, I think the last question I, I would like to ask you, and I think our users would be interesting in too, is what would you advise people who aspire to be working in the field of uh, financial modeling? So, my advice and I've, is that the, Building the financial models isn't really a mechanical exercise. Mm -hmm. A lot of people treat it that way, right? So, you know, just because you can do it doesn't mean, doesn't mean you know it's 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 the right you know that you know I know the ten steps and this is mm -hmm. what I'm going to do. I would say probably the biggest advice is learn the concepts, learn the fundamentals, learn the intuition behind the models. And okay. that way you, you know how to apply the models properly because the mm -hmm. last thing you want to do is just, you know, implement random models because some guy 10 years ago figured out this is how you're supposed to do it, but without really understanding why and is it really appropriate for the situation mm -hmm. that you're working on. Okay, yeah, I, th I couldn't agree more. I think I think it's very useful advice. Okay, well, uh, thank you again for being here. Well, and, thank um, you for having me.